Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is the end of Bloodborne. We will be finishing the game in this episode and there are a few things that we have to do. First of all, let's do some end game stuff. If we go to the wrong headstone, if we go to the correct headstone and go to the Cathedral Ward, there is an interesting event that has now concluded and we can finish involving the whore Ariana. Is it Ariana? Pretty sure it's Ariana. Yeah, Ariana. Um, basically her story is about to conclude and the theory around her story is such. She's actually of noble blood. Despite being a prostitute, she's actually of the type of blood that the church and particularly the old ones are interested in. And you notice that when you bring her to Odin Chapel she gets more and more sick throughout the game when the moon changes to a point where she's almost completely unresponsive at the after the pale blood sky and the theory is that she's a perfect candidate for receiving an old one's child and as you can see she's gone now and there's uh, some blood splats let's talk to this guy see what he knows I have a sympathetic face. This is my sympathy face. Was it a beast? Oh. Um, so he's obviously quite upset. You can you, the the blood stains lead you down back to uh, Father Gascoigne actually, and down this ladder here we come across her gain of some insight for discovering such thing and what is this thing? It can't be This is a nightmare She gave birth to that. She has nothing else to say to you. She gave birth to this. And whatever that is. Um, we're going to do the most honourable thing we can. We're going to kill it. We're going to kill it. Killing it kills Ariana. Um, but you do get a third of the umbilical cord. And Ariana's shoes. Um, this is actually the fourth third of umbilical cord. Um, you get one for doing that. You get one for defeating Mogo's wet nurse. Uh, you find one. Oh god, I can't remember now. I, wish I wrote this down somewhere. I've lost it. But either way, you need three. You do need three, and you do come across two in the main game, and then Ariana's storyline gives you a third. And you can obtain a fourth. I think it's in the nightmare. I think you get another one. Um, but now, basically, we're just going to collect all the items that we couldn't have collected. Was it a beast? Oh. He doesn't change his dialogue. So we get to do things that we've always wanted to do. For example, stab this guy. Yeah, he did. Uh, he drops for you some pungent blood cocktails, which makes sense. He sounds like a drunk. We're going to kill Adelia the Nun. I never liked her anyway. She's gonna drop a Odin Wraith rune. The Odin Wraith rune, if I can remember correctly, uh, uh, visceral attacks give you a quick silver bullet. It's actually quite a good rune to to have if quite early in the game, I think. Um, but now this guy will actually cower from you after what you've done. You can no longer talk to him. Sorry, put you out of your misery. And he gets drops a formless Uden. We've already had a formless Uden. This is 
a different rank formula Zudan. So it gives us an up in our Quicksilver Bullets. Now we want to go... We're not finished yet. There's actually a boss that we skipped before the final boss. The final boss being plural, there's actually two. And I have not had a single chance to practice these. I warn you now, uh, this video may be two videos spliced together because I literally have no idea. Uh, so we want to go... Where is it? Um, no, not there. And it's not... Where is? Where am I thinking? Where do we need to go? We need to go to the orphanage. Where was the orphanage? Oh, here we go. Advent Plaza. No, not Advent Plaza. Where am I thinking we need to go? Not amygdala's. Did we not like? Did we not like the lamp? Did we make a big mistake? It's oh, it's upper. Ch oh, it's down here. That's why. There we go. Lumen Flower Gardens. Oh, I was so confused then. Got really confused. So sorry, my friend's sending me photos of American footballs from America. Oh god, there's loads. And right, yeah. So we are now above Cathedral Ward. If you remember this, this, this place. Careful of these guys. They can inflict frenzy on us quite a lot now that we have plus ten insight. Now this this is a one way trip. If you go down here, you either fight the boss or die. Um, I am expecting a death. Oh shit! Forgot about him being there. Oh, there's one around the corner as well. This one's dangerous. Okay, yeah, I didn't want him to get off an attack. See, I, that guy reminded me about that guy because that could have been a, a nasty situation. Let's take this elevator down. Do, 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 do. I like the physics of the wind. A couple more of these guys. I'm not too worried about them. Especially when I can do crap like that. Right. This is the... Uh, the Altar of Despair. This is actually where you can revive the Vile Blood Queen. But this right here, buried deep within the back of the uh, Grand Cathedral is a great one. Uh, it's non-hostile until you attack. Um, but this thing, again, the design is fantastic. This is actually the back of it. I thought it was the front for a while, but it's actually the back. I've had no practice on this fight at all. This is the front. That's the that's the, uh, that's the face any mother could love, right? So, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go for it, see what happens. Bolt paper. Get some early attacks in, and it wasn't even enough to. Uh... Okay, go on. Go. Oh shit! Get some stamina back. I don't know the attacks. I don't know if I should be in front. I don't know if I should be behind. I really don't know. Okay, I probably shouldn't be there. Oh shit! Seal that off. Ah, oh, the headbutt, man. Get out of there. No. Get out. Get out. How do I want to do this? Let's try and get the headbutt to come back. Come at me. Are you stuck? What have we got? A slam. Okay. Slam is fine. Oh, I missed. Do the slam again. Ah oh, man, the range on that. I'm learning this fight. Let's pop another bolt paper on. Is that visceral? No. I don't know what just happened. Oh crap!
I really shouldn't attack when I don't know. Yeah, when I don't actually know the attacks. Oh man, I dodged. I had to dodge that twice. Seriously. Trying to get some HP back. I'm stuck. I can't. I can't see. I'm in it. I'm in. Oh, I haven't even said his name. Ebria says daughter of the cosmos. Can't be parried. Oh, it does a lot of damage actually. Oh no, that was its attack doing that. Okay, I'm just stupid. I don't know what that's doing. I don't know what it's doing. What is it doing? Oh, we don't want to get caught. Oh, that's frenzy. Oh, seriously? How am I supposed to dodge that? The frenzy's still building up. Oh, this is the magic spell. This could suck. That oh, wasn't too bad, actually. Oh! I didn't realize it was going to grab me. No! Put me back down. Put me down, bitch. Ah. Oh. Okay. Probably should have practiced this fight. Don't know, don't care. Is the mentality we're going with right now. Don't know, don't care. Hey, hey, hey. Good news is, when we finish this project, it's going to take a small break before we do the Chalice Dungeons because I have just got The Witcher 2. And I'm looking forward to giving that a go. Really not that worried about dealing with these guys. Or that one guy that's there. I can't work out if Bolt people help me or not. Probably should be worth learning the, fault bef uh, learning the fight before I waste them. I forgot about you two again though, didn't I? No! Oh. That was close. Right, let's activate this. Um, operate device, thank you. Operate... Oh, I'm pressing square... What am I doing? What am I doing? Also, that notification just then was telling me The Witcher 3 is ready to go. I'm eager to play it, but I promised myself I would not play it until I finished the finale of Bloodborne. And that's what we're going to do. If this video is an hour, this video is an hour. I'm really not going to be too worried about these guys. Let's go! I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. I'll get the head. Okay, we got the head. We hit the head once, that's fine. What's he gonna do? Head slam? That's fine, do the head slam. Ah, oh, I've lost him. Her. I think it, uh, yeah, it's obviously a her, it's the daughter of the cosmos. It's a pretty obvious uh, gender there for a ribbit house. Ebriatas, daughter of the cosmos. It's pretty obviously gonna be a dude. Do the do the headbutt thing again. No, not that. Slam your head in the ground. I like that. Oh no, that's the charge. We don't want that. We don't want to do any of that. Is that like cutting itself in the face or something? Oh, that totally should have hit. Oh fuck. I thought that was its like range go to attack. Right, target the head. Come on. I will use bolt paper in a bit. Yeah, you can swing at me all you like. I'm still trying to learn the attack. Oh my. Wow, that was a big hit. That was a big hit. Like, I've been hit by that charge before. That wasn't that big of a hit. Oh, shit, okay. Okay, okay. Alright. I've upset you, that's fine. Did headbutt? No, that's not headbutt. That's spitting your frenzy blood at me. Oh, 
Oh, I hit the arm. Oh, I hit a tendril. Oh, I actually dodged it for once. Jesus Christ. Is that a visceral? Oh, I only believe it was. Visceral attack on a Rebataz. Nice. And this is where we're going to bolt paper up. Hit it. Hit it. Oh, I got it. It's dead. Yes, I can try. The Great Isis Chalice. Nice. Collect our blood, blood echoes. And a achievement. Whee! Chalice of Isis as well. Nice. We'll light up this lamp. And then what we, what we can do is over at the altar where it first appeared. Or where it first was resting. Which looks like a giant spider actually. It's pretty cool. Looks like a giant uh, rom head spider. If you inspect... You can offer the flesh to the altar, and that's it. Like, the the queen is now back. There's no cutscene, there's no dialogue, she doesn't even acknowledge the fact that you did such a thing. She's just back. Kind of lame. Kind of lame. Right, as mentioned before, there are three endings. And obviously, because I only had two accounts at the end, I can only show you two. I will do these endings and then talk you through what the third ending is because I have been told what it is and it's pretty simple what it is but I would rather do the full ending than actually uh... right yeah yeah I want to level up can I level up? oh I can't actually have I got anything that will allow me to get enough souls to level up? oh we could be lucky actually we've probably got loads there's two kin cold bloods there Oh, three, man, we got we got loads. May even invest in some stuff. Well, we've probably got enough for two... Oh, no, we haven't got enough for two level ups. We have got enough for one, though. And I'm probably going to want to put this in skill. And I'm going to spend the rest. Because when you finish the game, um, there's no point keeping things. Uh, bolt paper. Let's buy... I'm going to buy three bolt paper, that's fine. We'll buy some... Molotovs. I love my Molotovs. That's it. We'll go spend some insight. At the insight messenger bar. You can't take this stuff with you. So you might as well buy it. We'll buy some ritual stuff. Um, we have none of those. Why don't we have any of those? Okay, we'll buy two of those. We have seven of those. And uh, we do have one of those. We have three of those. Um, I think we'll get one more of those. One of those. One of those. Actually, no, I'll tell you what we'll do. We're just going to spend all of our stuff and just buy everything just stock up because we are not going to need these in the next playthrough man that's a lot of insight right here we go let's check in anything else I can buy cool so let's get three living strings five pearl bloods three more of those Two more bloodshot eyeballs, one of those, and we're good. There we go. Everything is bought, and that meter filled up high. I have no idea what that meter does. Really, I don't. Right, this is the key part to change the ending. We are going to consume our third of the umbilical cords. You can comp consume these at any time, um, but it's best to keep count of which ones you have. Uh, you need to consume three to get the alternate ending or the the, the good ending uh, we have four we're going to use all four third here we go so this is where the game changes up a little bit we're also going to withdraw a lot of crap from in here uh, we're going to withdraw five of those now we want to withdraw what we're doing we draw nine of those uh, withdraw those, withdraw those 
withdraw those. All things that may come in handy to us. Right, let's think. Pungent blods we're not going to use. The bulk paper we might use. Um, may use the throw knife. May use. Where's it gone? May use bone marrow ash. And very, very well may use fire paper. Because if I haven't already spoiled it, we are going to be refusing German. And that upsets him. He doesn't like that we're refusing him. He gets up off his chair and he tries to go to town on us. So let's refuse Great Hunter German's offer. And I'm going to have poison knives just, just to see if we can whittle them down with some poisons. Right. Let's start by doing this. And let's begin. Refuse. Ooh, it's tense. I haven't done this fight before. Live on camera. May screw up. Dear, oh dear. What was it? The hunt? The blood? Or the horrible dream? Oh, it doesn't matter. comes down to the hunters help her to clean up after these sorts of messes I love that weapon burial blade tonight German joins the hunt and here we go we're fighting German Tr the key to this fight is to parry you want to parry oh, I can't believe I actually did that first time you want to parry my god, do you want to parry? Because his attacks are dangerous. Uh, that one has such a long wind up, honestly. Alright, let's get the let's get the fire paper on. Let's try some fire paper. Oh my god, I'm actually wrecking German right now. And as soon as I say that, he manages to get me. Oh shit, okay, he's got a Hunter Blunderbuss. Which we want to be careful that we don't get parried by. Uh, I have no idea what that just was. Whoa, shit, whoa, shit. No, no, no. Wow, what a, what a combo that was. Okay, so when he's got it in his sword mode, he's a lot harder to parry. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. This is one of those uh, really, really useful... F oh, that, sort of, that fire paper did so much for us. Can I get that HP back? Oh, I could. What's he doing? Um, am I... What is he doing? Oh shit! Oh jeez, okay. Should have uh, probably seen something like that coming. He's going to be super fast now, isn't he? Watch out for those blood bullets. Hey dude, you just created a grave. Isn't that cool? No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm healing this up. I want to get this parry. Jesus, he is fast. Go on, one more parry and I might, might be able to get this. No, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, go in scythe mode, I can parry scythe mode. Oh, come on, come on, be dead. Oh, I got him first try. It was not pretty, but I got him first try. Get the old hunter purge. 
This is the alternate ending. If you didn't use three umbilical cords, the game would end now with ending number two. This is the ending after three umbilical cords. Now this is the moon presence and you go straight back in you go straight into this fight. There is literally no no gap between German and the moon presence. However, if you die, uh you do go back to the dream and you can uh apparently do quite a lot of damage to him. Oh shit, okay. I really do enjoy the right flash actually. Oh, I cannot believe that I even tried doing that. Okay, we're getting somewhere at this fight. I'm just waiting for him to shift up. Okay, whoa, shit. The bed. That nearly killed me. Stop doing that. You're going to get yourself killed. Just hit him twice instead. Come on. I actually managed to get him that time. Is he gonna do that shit again? No, he's not. Oh, he's raining blood. Okay. Bit of slayer. Oh, okay, shit. This is it for my healing. Why why can't I heal? Am I dead? It 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 wasn't letting me heal. Okay, I died. <laughs> I'm willing to accept that, but it was kind of Glitching out and was you could see me reaching into my packet uh, reaching into my pocket trying to grab something and I had two vials Oh dear, that's okay. That's okay because we would like to have replenished our stuff anyway And uh, we ended up with 21 insight Wow Spend those On a load of crap probably what we got the least of Yeah, we'll get another living string and we get some of those. One more of those. Right, so we're replenished in HP and shots. Although I don't see us using any shots. I would like to try and take down this thing. The moon presence, come on. No strat, no regrets. Where's my bloodstain? Is that it? Yeah, cool, right. I'm guessing because it's like a god, it's going to be weak to bolt, because a lot of the old one enemies, like Rom and Great One even, old ones are Dark Souls. He's a great one. Oh, shit, good hit. I'll give you that. Okay, alright, use your whippy tail at me. Oh, okay, I, it was running at me, I didn't realise it was actually an attack. Oh my god. So what, do I have to be at full health when that thing kicks off, or... I get screwed, or what? Yes, I am literally throwing poison knives at him, just to see what happens. If he gets poisoned, I'm just going to be, like, the happiest... Son of a bitch ever. Could you imagine of that being how we take this thing down? Got him, might as well use him. That's raining blood. I want to try and stay topped up. I really don't think I'm gonna be able to poison him. I don't I don't see a poison happening. 
but I'll, I'm whistling. I will whistle. Alright, let's try some fire paper. Six, six, six damage. I won't take that as a sign or anything. Let's heal that off. I'm sensing the... Yeah, that thing. Oh my god, that is such a bullshit attack. That raining blood. Oh, I thought I got away with it. Oh, damn, I gotta like differentiate between running at me. Uh, why can't I heal? Oh, I've got healing mist or something. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Can I heal now? No, I still can't heal yet. Okay. I don't like this. I don't like this inability to heal thing that it's done. Oh, okay, I managed it's worn off. Okay. Yeah, that's raining blood. Oh. Running out of blood vials here. Right, let's get into it. Oh my god, that attack. Let's get some of that back. Okay, we took a lot of that back. But we're actually getting somewhere. Don't blow it. Don't blow it. Oh my god! You're dead! I killed it! I did it! Second try! What is it with my second tries today? The nightmare has been slain. Bloodborne is over. Man, that's a lot of souls. Are you cold? Good hunter. So, that ending gets you a gold medal. But that ending is you becoming a great one child. Like you you have become the theory the theory is that you are now a great one and the doll will look after you and raise you. And a brilliant theory that I like, and credit to Epic Name Bro for coming up with this, is that the doll is actually a great one. And, like, the th they say that the, a great one will lose their child. And you are now, like, the, uh, the doll is now, like, become a surrogate mother for you. So maybe that's the cycle, you know. Um, the other ending is you kill German and then take German's place. You then sit in the wheelchair and the doll wheels you around and the cycle completes. Uh, the cycle continues. Um, it's still quite a negative ending, but this one slays. It ends the dream, ends both nightmares. Um, and there's a lot of lot to be learned about them, um, but doing that will throw you straight into New Game Plus, if I remember correctly. Just waiting for it to load. Good. Yeah, there you go. You sign your contract and you wake up. With a fuck ton of souls, uh, we're going to go back to the dream and quickly. As soon as we're going to go to the dream as quickly as we can, and quickly go over um, the saw hunter badge, which is what uh, German dropped for us. Run, 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 run. Let's see how beasty we are. Uh, my other character killed that in one, in two hits. We will happily take all these blood vials. One good thing about coming through here on New Game Plus is that you do get your blood vials supply resupplied. I didn't really know <laughs> how to finish that sentence correctly. You 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 get you get your blood vials. Um, I'm literally looking forward to going through New Game Plus um, just because I really enjoy the the early areas of the game. 
And you forget how bright it was when we came here for the first time. Uh, I'm going to parry this sucker. Or maybe not. Come on, let me parry you. Thank you. Just curious to see how much damage we can do. Uh, not. Let's try these guys. Stabby, stabby, stab. Yeah, so we can one hit that guy. Two hits. Yeah, so practically reset the game. But I like that. I, I, I do like the the uh, idea behind New Game Plus resetting the game. Take those blood vials. We'll go up to the lamp. We'll go back to discuss the Soul Hunter's badge. Uh, sorry, the Great Hunter's badge. Hello, Claret Beast. I can hear you. I wish I could see you. Unless that is you up there. Is that, is that Claret Beast? No, it's just a tree. It's just a tree. No, let's light this lamp. Let's get out of here. Um, so yeah, more discussion on that ending. So the, so you defeat German, you've consumed three umbilical cords, or in, like two, three thirds, so an entire umbilical cord, and then the moon presence picks you up, like kind of scans you, rejects you, and then fights you. You defeat it, and then you take its place as the new, the new great one. Uh, I can totally use that, you robbing. Right, let's go to the bath messenger. Weapons. Burial blade. Oh yeah, that is what you get. You get the burial blade. We are buying the shit out of the burial blade. Um, it's a strength and skill weapon, but man, it's cool. I think it's so cool. Uh, also, we've got everything available in the shop, actually. Oh, of course, because we keep our... We keep our, uh, our, I'm going to buy some of these. Just because we're going to do the challenge challenge dungeons at some point. Let's level up the burial blade. I, I, I'm, I'm going to level it up and then show you. Can I wield it? Is a good question. Oh good, I can. Okay, I can wield it. Alright, let's upgrade it. Fortify. Yes. 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 Oh, we need to buy some more twin blood zones. That's fine. Can we buy them with insight? No, because I don't have enough insight to actually open up the shop. That's fine. We'll buy them with... Alright, let's get... Four. I should have looked at how many we actually needed. I'm excited. The Burial Blade is like one of the first weapons that when looking through the weapons of Bloodborne, I was like, I want that! And it just so happened to be the game, the one that you get right at the end of the game. It just so figured. Alright, we need seven more. I can afford seven more. Seven more. I'm gonna. I'm planning on using this thing. That's why I'm upgrading it. Right. Five, six, seven. Go. Okay. Probably can't level up anymore, but I don't care. Getting that barrel blade straight up is a good thing. Fortify. Barrel blade. Yes. Now we need some chunks. We don't have any chunks, so that's fine. Right. Let's put some gems in this. What's it got in its gem slots? Oh, waning. Waning is good. Physical attack. Um, I'm probably going to go for a fire attack. Uh, yeah, I like having fire. This, this early in the game, having fire is going to be pretty good. Attack up 15% is going to be pretty good too. And... What does it do? Physical attack. Add rapid poison into that. Attack versus speed, arcane, blood tinge, blood tinge scaling. What a pointless, pointless thing to have on this thing. Um, let's try that one for now and see what improves it. Probably just that, because I don't really want to risk the durability right now. We may take a decent, is there a, like a really, really good gem in our Blade of Mercy? Skill scaling. Yeah, let's take that one out. Um, let's try putting the skill scaling in there. Where'd that one go? No, it's here. Where'd the skill scaling one go? Uh, it only goes up to B. Mm, at least it's scaling with B. I mean, that's pretty cool. Ah, oh, well. We'll put what we've got in there. I'm happy with what we've got in there. Right. Let's pull out this baby. Here we go. Burial blade. So, one hand, like, it's untrick mode. 
is a uh, a sword with nice slashes. Uh, the charge is a, a big swing. Let's see if there's two forms to the charge. Uh, there is. It's an overhead swing. I oh, know that's what it normally is. Uh, engage trick mode. Boom. It's quite a long animation, but you get a hacking scythe with a lot of range on it. Let's try its charge. Oh, there's a lot of range on that. There's a lot of range on that. Single attack is like a back, like hitting it with the back of the thing. I like that. Okay. And let's go into trick mode. So let's start with this. And trick. And trick out. Okay, so it's just mostly a sweeping weapon. I'm totally going to roll with this for a while. Anyway, that was the finale of Bloodborne. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed the journey. Uh, we will be doing some uh, Chalice Dungeons and some uh, New Game Plus like footage. But for now... I'm very happy to have finished Bloodborne. Thank you for coming along with me on this journey. If you've enjoyed, please like, comment, or even subscribe for more. New videos come up 2 p.m. week daily. I have been well 10 minutes at a time, and this has been Bloodborne. Good night.